Hi, my name is Brianna Oliphant, and for my project, I chose to do Alzheimer's disease in the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. The receptor involved is a ligand ion-gated channel, and it has two binding sites that are both extracellular. The ligand is a neurotransmitter acetylcholine, and when it binds, a cytoplasmic cell response is generated, and the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor triggers, a chemoelectric, triggers chemoelectric signals all throughout the nervous system. When the signal triggers an action potential, the membrane potential goes back to normal on its own. The signal stops when there are no more neurotransmitters in the synapse. The signaling pathway is unique because no second messages are involved, but it does have scaffold proteins involved. The scaffold proteins are PDZ proteins and PSD proteins. There are protein kinases involved and they are CAMP-dependent protein kinase, protein kinase C, and the tyrosine-specific protein kinase. As stated before, there are no second messengers involved in the signal transduction pathway, and there are also no G proteins involved. Alzheimer's is caused by a buildup of proteins, mainly a protein called amyloid beta, around the neurons that make up the brain, and the buildup causes a plaque to form. The plaque is bad because it does not allow signaling molecules to pass through as they usually would, and it disrupts the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and pathway because fewer signal molecules are able to bind to them as they cannot make it through to the receptor them being the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. Not having the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor activated can cause neural pathologies in human beings that have to do with brain function due to the fact that nicotinic acetylcholine receptors play crucial physiological roles in the human brain. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you liked it.